President Donald Trump's dismissive description Wednesday of Stephen K. Bannon as a staffer who had very little to do with our historic victory marked his latest effort to cast his one-time confidant as a bit player who never had any real influence on the president's politics or policies. It was the kind of story-shaping statement that, not so long ago, Trump and Bannon might have written together. In reality, Bannon has been a guiding figure for Trump for years as the New York developer began seriously to consider running for president, according to associates of both men. Sam Nunberg, who said he arranged numerous telephone calls between Bannon and Trump dating to 2013, said it did not take long for the two to become ideological soulmates. At a time when Trump was widely dismissed as a credible candidate, Nunberg said, Bannon took him seriously and publicized him on the Breitbart News website, which Bannon oversaw. From those earliest days, Bannon encouraged Trump to run for the White House, and then, in the race's final months, he effectively took over a campaign that appeared to have almost no chance of succeeding. The only candidate who could have won this past election on the message of populism and conservative nationalism is Donald J. Trump, said Nunberg who worked for Trump as a political and public affairs advisor before he was fired in 2015. However, at the time Steve took a formal role, the campaign was in dire straits, and I don't believe the president would have been able to pull off that upset at the end without Steve Bannon. It is possible, if not likely, that Trump and Bannon will reunite again soon, the president has a long history of making up with associates against whom he has lashed out. But for now, at least, Trump and Bannon are on the outs, following revelations in a new book by Michael Wolff, Fire and Fury, Inside the Trump White House, in which Bannon is quoted as saying that Donald Trump Jr.'s meeting with a Russian lawyer at Trump Tower in June 2016 was treasonous. John Thornton, a former co-worker of Bannon's at Goldman Sachs whom Bannon has described as a mentor, saw Bannon work closely with Trump during the transition and the early months of the administration. He said in an interview Wednesday that he was impressed at how smoothly they got along, and by how the president listened closely to Bannon's advice on issues ranging from the economy to China. It was a very healthy, highly engaged, intimate relationship that you would expect to see between the person who had just won the presidency and the person who had run the campaign, Thornton said. There's no question he was clearly a central figure helping the president achieve his goals. Bannon and Trump were introduced in 2010 by David Bossie, who rose as a hero on the right when as a congressional staffer in the 1990s he helped to investigate Bill Clinton and went on to become president of Citizens United, a conservative group whose work includes a movie pillorying Hillary Clinton. Bossie did not respond to a request for comment. Bannon declined to comment.